Hey people, been a while. I know I sound a little different because I just woke up not that long ago and I haven't talked all day, so... Yeah, deep voice, win. Anyways, I'm going to teach you the basics and in a few videos you'll be finally getting into vectoring. I know people don't say this normally, but you know. Anyways, so you need to know the pure basics. First thing um, you're going to need to know is what's what. So I have mine set up in a slightly different manner than most people do. I moved my properties from down here to here and my libraries here. I have gotten rid of a few windows that I don't need. Here's the main three things you need to know right off the bat. You got a timeline on the top. You got your uh, scene frames right here. And this is where you can preview everything. Then you have your tools, you got your color swatches, you got your color selection thing. I don't even know how this works, but okay. Of course, a library, because you, you need a library for every project. You're going to be doing a lot of symbol swapping. And that just makes it easy. Believe me. Animating later, symbol swapping, super simple. So, on the timeline, you have your different layers. You can add a whole bunch of them. You can delete a whole bunch of them. You have your most important button, which is the onion skin button which if I add a whole bunch more frames, it'll actually show you between point A and point B, you know, how many frames ahead and how many frames back there is, um, you know, of animation. Um, that comes in handy much, much later. Onion skin outline, so if you just want the outlines instead of just the full thing, it's like looking at wireframe, if you know what that is from gaming. Edit multiple frames allows you to do just that. And onion skin markers, it doesn't matter. I just keep it all at one because simplicity. Well, not really. I just don't mess with it. So then you got your frames per second, which is extremely important. And you have a second counter. Now this is where things are going to get a little tricky because everything is done in frames per second. It takes 24 frames, so if I go up to frame 24, hit F5, that's one second of time. So if you can animate with one second of time in a whole 24 frames a quick scene, then you already kind of know what you're doing, kind of, maybe, I don't know. But let's continue, shall we? So yeah, I'm also going to cover the most diverse question to answer and that's how to get a tapered line. I didn't know the term so I kept on searching up the wrong thing and looked for sharp edges and this and that. Oh, what a bad search. Anyways, so I guess let's just grab a tool and get started. But I'm going to do that in the next video because I want to keep these kind of short and simple. So catch you then. <laughs> 